You got this. Why are you so stressed out? You should be stressed because you guys are late. Let's go. I was about to fuck him up. It's due, it's due one week, two week, three week, it's due here, and we're right here. Fucking, we're right here. So I gotta start this Ferrari ASAP to get it done. Because it's getting calipers done, a bunch of shit. All right guys, so uh, today we got Chris Wheeler's F8 Ferrari here, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving the, uh, the paint protection film that's already on here. It's actually a, a matte PPF that's on the entire body right now. We're gonna remove that, get it cleaned up, and then we're gonna wrap it in the Titanium, matte ice titanium. Red. We're gonna be wrapping the matte ice titanium red by uh, KPM. We're doing more stuff too. We're gonna take these giant brake calipers off, and we're gonna powder coat those white. So I think that red white combo with the black wheels is gonna look dope. But yeah, we're gonna get to it. Yeah, oh. we're just gonna hop right into it. That'll get noted. Things like that. Yeah. You know, after we get all the adhesive off, then we can see how the body really looks. It's kind of hard to do a, a inspection of a vehicle's body when it's wrapped or it's PPF and matte because you can't see any. It covers it up pretty well. It covers everything up. But yeah, it's hot. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna start the assembly and prep.
stretch with the F8. I just got a call from my boy Chris. He says he wants the car for dinner. So right now it is 12. It's 12. He wants the car for 6.30 dinner. That means we got to get it done and delivered by then. Um, still quite a bit to go. If you see the car, let's take it apart. We'll go over it real quick. Wheels are still off. The reason why the wheels are off is because we did these calipers here. Look at those calipers. Um, the logos are correct. They are? They are okay. correct. Good, of course. I don't care if anybody cares. Everything's right. Um, initially, when Chris and I were talking, I told him I wanted to do the red wrap, or we talked about doing the red wrap, but he wasn't sold on the white calipers. I was like, bro, we got to do the white calipers. The original color of the calipers when the car came in, they were spray painted highlighter, like a neon yellow. Um, the car was black, but somebody decided to spray paint these calipers. In a phone call. Um, not a good idea. If you got a Lambo or any car, you don't want to spray paint your calipers. Um, there was a bunch of overspray in all the wheel wells and all the components. Didn't look good. So what we did from, from there is we went and cleaned out the entire wheel wells. We removed all of the spray paint, removed the calipers from the car, and properly had them coated. When you do that, there's a lot of things that come along with it. So Jack, what do you got to do? You got to take these really expensive brakes off. Then once you put them back on, you have to bleed the whole system. So that takes a lot of work. I actually use two full cans of brake fluid. And then we have to do one last step where we have to manual bleed it to make sure all the air is good and out because this is a fast car. You got to stop it. It's got to be able to stop. Yeah. Um, another thing in addition that what I've always known about any calipers we're doing is you have to cover up the nuts and bolts properly because when you're coating these things, you don't want to seize up the bolts. You know, so we had that all done. Um, that, that took some time. It looked great though. So enough about the brakes. The red wrap with the brakes look great. That's all that needs to be said. I know Chris is going to love it. Um, in addition to the red wrap that you hear, we had styled it with black and carbon fiber. So you'll see the lip. There's some carbon fiber there right here on the side. We left some black accents on the, the, mirror on the mirrors. Uh, and the wheels are gloss black. So it's just going to really flow really well. And that's always the idea when we're putting together these cars. Is we want to make sure that if we're mixing up carbon, reds, and blacks, that it flows. It just has a good uh, feel to it. And that's what you're going to see here. Um, as you guys know, top quality wrap. It's all done properly. Everything was removed from the car. A lot of shops will miss those steps. They don't want to take apart a Ferrari. It's an Italian car. It's hard to work on. Yes, we know that. It's crazy that we're blowing up apart the way we do. You guys saw that. Bumpers, headlights, trims, door handles. Everything's getting taken off, but it's for a reason. We want this to be done right. We want it to look good. And we want it to last more than anything. Customer's going to spend almost 10 grand to do some of the stuff that we're doing here. We want to make sure that his money's well spent. And if you're spending $3,000 on a car like this, same thing. It's going to be the same way. All the parts are taken off. It's going to be done right. It's going to last. Um, in addition to the wrap, we're... This is how it goes. This is how it Business, goes. Man. In addition to the wrap, another thing we're going to do is ceramic coat the entire interior and exterior. What a ceramic coating is going to do is going to protect this wrap. It's going to let, uh, allow it to be UV protected and just give it that ease of maintenance. You know, when you ceramic coat any type of vehicle, any part of the car, it's going to help with maintenance, your day-to-day -day maintenance. The last thing that I got to do is I'm going to PPF these headlights. I'm going to make sure that they're protected. Uh, we want every inch of the car to be covered. The exterior, the body's all covered with wrap. The last thing is to make sure that this is covered. So we're going to cover those up with some PPF templates that we made here in-house. Um, a lot of one, of one of the things we've been doing is when these cars come in, we create our own PPF templates to our liking, to our fitment, and the way that we think it should be done. So we don't use any of that off-the-shelf stuff. We create our own. And that's what I did here. So I'm going to create the pattern. I'm going to go and install it. And um, that's all. We got delivery. We're going to introduce, hopefully introduce you to Chris tonight. We're going to drive out there, take you guys along for that. But we got a lot of work to do, so let's get on it. Also fully PPF'd all the way through every inch of the car, bumpers, roof, doors, mirrors, quarter panels, everything. Fully PPF, so fully protected there. I told you guys about the Ferrari. Supra is getting a Nardo gray wrap. That's the Innos Tech film. Looks amazing. Going from the red to the gray. 
Very, very hard conversion. If you're doing this type of work, to do a red car into gray, it's not easy because you want to hide all that red. We're going to make it happen. It's going to happen. It's happening. It's looking good. Tesla over there, fully PPF as well. That car is factory gray gloss. All we did is a satin PPF over it. PPF, PPF. You guys see a pattern here? PPF on the headlights. It's something that we're doing here at Premium a lot more now. Um, we've done it for a long time, but we've really worked on perfecting the skill before we offer it out to just anybody. We're at a point now where I feel really confident in my staff, my guys, and my crew as far as how we do this type of work. Because you guys know we're the best at rapid. We've been. Now it's time to take over the PPF world, and that's what we're doing. So you guys will see that. These cars are looking great. Um, still learning the process, but we're getting it done. stretch of the project I told you earlier Chris Wheeler the owner of the car hit me up and said hey I want to take this car to dinner it's now 4 p.m. and dinner's at 6 30 so I don't want to rush these guys but I need you guys to hurry up safely safely never want to rush a car out especially a car like this um, we have little things that we're just tidying up <laughs> I'm about to fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him up anyway. Dude, Home stretch, guys. Ah. We get to get in this car, and I get to drive it to Irvine. Uh, Irvine's about 45 minutes away. Um, there is going to be traffic right now. We're probably going to just get there just in time. But as always, when we promise something to a client, whether he drives a Ferrari or a Supra or a Honda, we're going to accommodate, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this car there. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Hopefully, you guys will be able to meet Chris and find out why this man gets to own these kind of cars. This is dope. Work down. Yes. Electronics, mirrors, everything. Door everything handles. Everything's went over. Wrap. You guys went through yep. and looked over everything. Yeah. Uh, ceramic coat's done. No high spots. Nope. Lighting. No bubbles, nothing in the wrap, everything's ready everything's to go. Everything's good. All PPF, right. Even the PPF headlights are hey, on point. I did the PPF on the headlights, so they were perfect. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we're ready to go? Let's see if the battery's charged. Hope so. <laughs> That's, let's see if the battery's charged. The battery is charged. Yeah, we gotta go. One question for you on camera. Okay. You ready for this? Okay. What does it take for someone to own a car like this? Because I've watched you grind, dude. I've watched you grind for the past yeah. five years. Yeah. You know, that's like probably around the time we first did business together. What would you what advice would you give anybody who's trying to own cars like this? I know I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> I've got my kid, yeah. I'm chilling. I mean, do a lot of people they get home from work and they watch TV, bro. Yeah. They do. They work for somebody else and they don't work on their own goals. That's that's number one. And number two, like a lot of people won't do whatever it takes. Right. I made a lot of shit. Yep. I've had bad, really fucking bad years. I've yeah. had years where I made no money, but like you just can't give up. Yeah. Complain Sounds about your boss, be your own boss, bro. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, complain about yourself. No, I complain about me. <laughs> right, 100%. I can, live, I can live with that. I agree, man. So that, I, that's, I love it. I'm glad to hear it. 
As long as you're happy with this, Thanks I'm happy. Job. This is back to the next project. We're yep. gonna bring this back to the shop. We're gonna do a full Bravis kit on it. So that'll be up next. But that's all. That's all we got. Cool, you got what you need? Got what I need. All right.